Hello friends, in this tutorial we will learn about interpolation search. Interpolation search is an improvement over binary search. As binary search always checks the value at middle index, but interpolation search may check at different locations based on the value of the element being searched. And for interpolation search to work efficiently, the elements of the array should be sorted and uniformly distributed. Comparing interpolation search with linear search and binary search, the time complexity of linear search is big O of n, the time complexity of binary search is big O of log n, while in favorable cases, the time complexity of interpolation search is log of log n, which is faster than linear and binary search. But the worst case complexity of interpolation search is big O of n. Before moving forward with interpolation search, I would recommend you watch the tutorial on binary search and I will do a quick recap in this video. In binary search, if you are given an array A and the element to be found is 4, so by using the start and the end variables which point to the starting and the end of the array, we will calculate the middle index which is equal to start plus end by 2 and we will check the value at the middle index if it is equal to the element we are looking for and as 7 is not equal to 4, we will check if 4 is greater than or less than 7 as 4 is less than 7, we will make end equal to mid minus 1 and we will again calculate mid which would be 3 plus 0 divided by 2 that is 1 and again the value at mid is not equal to 4 and as 4 is greater than 2, we will make start equal to mid plus 1 that is start is now pointing to the index 2 and again calculating mid which would be 3 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 2, we find the element we were looking for that is 4 at the middle index. So we can simply say that we found the element 4 at index 2. Now if we look closely to find the element 4, we divided the array into two parts at every step and it took us three steps to find the element 4. So now let's see how we can improve this using interpolation search. So the first requirement for interpolation search is that the elements must be sorted and uniformly distributed. Then we make a start variable equal to 0 and end variable equal to n minus 1 where n is the number of elements in the array. Now instead of calculating the middle index in interpolation search, we calculate the position to start searching at using the formula position equal to start plus end minus start divided by the element at end minus the element at start multiplied by the element we are looking for minus the element at start index. In this formula, E represents the element we are looking for. Now after calculating the position, if the element at that position is equal to the element we are looking for, then we simply see that the element is found at index in the variable POS which represents position. Otherwise, if the element we are looking for is greater than the element at current position, we will make the start equal to current position plus 1. Else, if the element we are looking for is less than the element at current position, we will make end equal to current position minus 1. So let's try this out using the previous example and again we are looking for the element 4 and initially start is equal to 0 and end is equal to n minus 1 that is 8 in our example. Now using the formula we will calculate the position to look for the element and by putting the corresponding values of start, end and e in the formula we get 0 plus 8 minus 0 divided by 15 minus 1 multiplied by 4 minus 1 which on further solving would be 8 divided by 14 multiplied by 3. Now one thing to note here is we will calculate the division part in decimals otherwise the answer may turn out to be 0. So the value of position would be 0 0.57 multiplied by 3 which is 1.71 and in the final answer we will take the integer value which is 1. Therefore we now check the value at index 1 which is 2 and is not equal to 4. And as 4 is greater than 2, we will make start equal to current position plus 1. Therefore, start now has the index 2. And there would be no change in the value of end which would again be 8. And now we will again calculate the value of position using our formula. And putting the corresponding value of start, end and e in the formula, we get 2 plus 8 minus 2 divided by 15 minus 4 multiplied by 4 minus 4, which would be 2 plus 6 by 11 multiplied by 0 which is equal to 2. So now we will check the value at index 2 and the value at index 2 is equal to 4 which is the element we were looking for. 
So we can simply say that we found the element at index 2. Now if you remember when we searched for the same element using binary search, it took us 3 steps to find the element 4, while with interpolation search we were able to find the element 4 in 2 steps. This is because with binary search we were always looking at the middle index, while with interpolation search we started looking at the index which were closer to the element we were looking for. Now one last thing, if the element is not present in the array, we will perform interpolation search until start is less than or equal to end and the element we are looking for is greater than or equal to the element at the start index and the element is less than or equal to the element at end. So now let's implement this using C++. We start our interpolation search function which takes as input an array A an integer n which is the number of elements in the array and an integer e that is the element we are looking for and returns the index of the element if it is present in the array otherwise it returns minus 1. So let's start our function and declare our variable start n n position where the variable pos represents the current position we are searching the element at. So firstly we initialize start to 0 and n to n minus 1 and then we start our while loop with the condition that start is less than equal to end and the element we are looking for is greater than or equal to the element at start and the element is less than or equal to the element at end. That is the element we are looking for is within the range of elements in the array. Next using the formula we calculate our current position and in this formula we are converting the division part to decimal by typecasting it to double otherwise it may turn out to be zero. And if the element at current position is equal to the element we were looking for, we simply return its index. Otherwise, we check if the element we are looking for is greater than the element at current position. We make start equal to current position plus 1. Else, we make end equal to current position minus 1. And if our loop ends and the element is not present in the array, at the end of this loop, we return minus 1. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching.